My name is Rhonda. I'm from San Diego, California, and uh, we moved to Alabama September of 2017. I'm Richard Recchia. I'm from San Diego and just love being in Alabama and becoming a SFA member. I was on meth for 17 years and pot and uh, alcohol and cigarettes, yes. Same, crystal meth, did marijuana. Just became, you can't function without it. And that's all you do is search for more drugs. You have to have it to go to work, to just survive the day, and that's all you do. It used to cause us to fight. None of our friends that did crystal meth, their marriage didn't survive. I had two dads. I mean, my first dad left us when I was five. Uh, he was a homosexual and left us. Uh, my other dad, stepdad, was an alcoholic. It was he just beat on me so I wouldn't turn out like my real dad. So I never had any father until I had the real father upstairs that loved me. I had no reason to ever start doing drugs. I had a wonderful childhood. My mom was a Pentecostal woman, and I don't. And I had church early in my life. I don't know why, but the world called me. I strayed. And I quit going to church when I was 18 and didn't come back until we moved here. Mm -hmm. I'm tired of that lifestyle and not having that joy in your heart that you see in other Christian people. And I've always seen that in her mom and just I was missing something and it wasn't there. I could never get it from drugs. Drugs just hit it all from me. My mom prayed for us all the time, and without her, I think things would have been worse for us. Yes. But her prayer got us through. Even though we weren't living right, her prayer was strong enough. <laughs> and I knew in my heart I had to make things right with God. He always loves you. You just don't realize how much He loves you. Mm -hmm. But He loves us all through those bad years, he was still there. He was. And he loved us through all of that. We just had to learn to accept it. Yes. Open our hearts to it. You're not gonna find it out in the world. You may think you're gonna find it out there. You will for a season, but then it's over. There's nothing like the love of Jesus. If you're looking for that, to fill that emptiness in your heart, that guidance, that loving assurance every day, that knowing that someone's there with you all the time that you can talk to and just have an everlasting love that never leaves, that's an amazing thing. So there is hope. Oh, there's a lot of hope, yes. Yeah. It was just something was always missing in my life and I believe that was Jesus. I always knew there was a good man inside there. I always felt that about him, but you just kind of had to dig for it a little bit. Uh, from his childhood, he had scars of abuse, you know, just, um, he was kind of harsh on the outside. Uh, so now to see the transformation is incredible because that good heart now is just out there like I knew it could be. So he's like a different man. She's always been a joy in my life. She's always had a loving heart. But now I know that means we're saved, that she'll get to see her mom again in heaven. And that means a lot. My real dad, I get a call at work one day, and you got to come up here. We had started talking. I wanted to know who he was and uh, where I came from. Uh, then uh, I got to save him when I was up there the last couple of weeks of his life. And mm -hmm. I just, I didn't save him, but I turned him to the yeah. Lord and was happy for that. <laughs> 
so Congress First Assembly has so much love. It's we've been to churches before. People won't talk to you because you sat in their seat and they kept staring at us. Why do they keep staring at us? You know, I think do they know we're sinners? <laughs> The next week we went, we realized we were in their pew, and that's why they kept staring at us. We never, and this church has a lot of love. I mean, I'm not a pretty person, so I still get people that show their affection towards me, their love towards me, and I just, I'm in awe of that. I uh, just, the church is a wonderful church. Great services, great worship. I mean, uh, messages, uh, Sunday school, it's its something I look forward to each and every day. Being from California, not being from back here, this church has welcomed us with open arms from day one and just love on us. It's awesome. I look forward to Wednesdays. I look forward to Sundays. I never knew what fellowship was really all about. I've heard of it, never knew. The fellowship is here at Strong A that it's warm and bracing, it's meaningful, it's just it's something I'm cherishing. I think if you just um, look inside yourself and you don't find any joy or happiness, you have to reach down and wonder how you can achieve it. And I know life is a struggle, it can be. And I'm not saying once you get saved life is perfect, but what Jesus can give you is more than anything else in this world. There's an unconditional love like you've never felt. There's peace. There's such a peace when you find Jesus that all the rest of your world will calm down. We all fight it. We fought it. And I know a lot of people that are struggling fight it, but if you just reach out there and open your heart, He's there for you. And He can help you through whatever it is you're struggling with. He's there. He can help you. you, know, you do that line. Yes, it makes you feel good at that second, but you're always going to feel bad afterwards. The joint, the drink, the cig, the... You're always not going to feel good. You do for that quick second, but after that, you're still going to be miserable and you're still gonna have a void in you that none of that's gonna fill. It's just gonna prolong your agony later in life. I mean, you're just never gonna get over it. You're never gonna feel better until he comes in you and can make you never want that anymore. He's done so much for me and gave me so much joy that I never knew I could have. It's an unbelievable feeling. And I believe it, not unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now for the important question. Who's who's your favorite pastor? Pastor Brian, of course. <laughs> pastor Brian Jones. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that twenty, you promise me. <laughs> <laughs> Good.